Just one more time on your way. Catherine, Chris. And, and right in front of you, please. And Mr. Pooh. And Smiles. And Bradley. Right here. Right 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 here. Karen, all the way to the left. Look at and you. can that be able to smile one more time? Karen, on your right, please. Karen, look at that. Palm, look on your left, please. Palm, look on your right, please. Uh, sir. And right, can I get you in the front? And, the, yeah, and right next smile. And uh, right in front of there. Hey, turn your body this way for a second. There you go, my friend. Mm -hmm. hey, look over that shoulder, man. Oh, let's way. see that. Let's oh, see that. Draw. Oh, and Will. No, well done, right in front of you, sir. And Sean, straight ahead. And Maria, just shoot right for you. Nathan, right back right now. Stay with me, Nathan. Right there. Is there a smile in there, Daniela? Listen, man. Listen, man. Listen, man. Listen, man. Listen, man. Listen, man. Listen, Michael to your left, Michael. I want to say to all of you here, this has been the most marvelous journey. Enjoy the all movie. All right, everyone, the time has finally come. Put those cell phones away, sit back, relax, and enjoy the world premiere of Marvel Studios Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Man, I've been looking forward to tonight for so long. The the world premiere for for us. This is the first time I'll have seen the movie in its entirety. I've been intentionally waiting for tonight to be surrounded by my friends, my families here at the Dolby Theater in Los Angeles. This is what it all comes down to. It's our night to celebrate. Uh, that you can feel the excitement uh, amongst uh, me and all our friends and the cosplayers here, but also having traveled around the world uh, from uh, from around the world. People are really excited for this movie. Yeah, 10 years, the final chapter of, a, of, of an extraordinary journey, the turning of a page, uh, and oh, truly yeah. the end of an era. Yeah. <sighs> it's, it was incredible. You know, we circumnavigated the entire globe. 
I don't know if I've ever done that before, but it was wild and amazing and so cool to just like get to meet all of these fans from all different parts of the planet. And, and, and everyone is brought together by, you know, this Marvel movie. And there's something so special about that. Uh, it was a joyous experience. 10 years, a decade of my life sporadically has been devoted to playing Nebula and being with my Guardians family and so it's a really bittersweet feeling. I think we're all really proud of everything that we've done but at the same time, you know, it's hard to say goodbye. I'm excited for people to see the conclusion of the trilogy. You know, uh, all stories must come to an end and, and this is it and it's all culminating in this moment and also it's a really nice kind of conclusion for a lot of the characters and I particularly um, I'm happy with Nebula's kind of arc and where she ends up in this film. A little bit of a lighter version of her personality this time around. So I've had a, quite a lot of fun with the comedy side, uh, which has just been really fun for me. I know, it's really crazy. I'm still kind of absorbing the fact that I'm in this thing and I'm part of the hard work. Um, yeah, uh, I, I'm really, really grateful. It's, it's really cool. And to see what it means to the fans as well. And so many of them turning up in costume and you know, and obviously having been on this journey for near a decade, uh, it's super special for them. And so it's really nice to kind of feed off that energy. Oh my gosh, so lucky, um, you know, to, to play a character that's kind of, I guess as enigmatic as this, and um, that also has sort of, I don't know, a certain kind of like pre-established awareness around who he is and what he's gonna be like. And obviously that comes with pressure, but that also comes with a really lovely kind of I don't know, like a weight of responsibility that I kind of welcomed and I'm really grateful to have had kind of bestowed on me. So I feel very, uh, I feel very grateful right now. It was so beautiful to shoot. We had so much fun, but also it was very emotional. You know, it feels like the, um, you know, an ending in some way, but I feel so grateful to have worked with James Gunn and, uh, and with all the actors and to play this weird and interesting and layered character. And this movie is going to be so beautiful. I watched it and I cried so much. It was really, really, really beautiful, really moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also you see like it's a fa family dynamic in different ways. We're like bickering at each other, but also we care for each other and we have to protect each other at all costs. So it brings something very emotional and, and something very funny at the same time, you know? I mean, on this particular one, you know, I think it's going to be really interesting to, uh, to dive uh, into uh, Rocket's uh, origin story, you know, what he's been through and all the trauma he's been through. And you see in the first movie, you know, at some point he takes off his, uh, his, uh, his jacket and he has like, um, he has scars in his back. And now you understand why. So it's really, really be a beautiful story and a beautiful homage to him, you know. I am very excited to be sharing this movie with an audience. And I think that the thing that really defines the people that I've worked with in this film and the entire journey is that we really care, we really want uh, to tell a great story, and we're all on the same page and we work together to do that. And so I just, I hope people like it. We've done, we've done our best and here it is, you know? There's some surprises in this movie. You know, we dig into Rocket's past a little bit and we also get to see what happens with Quill and Gamora since the events of the, the you know, Infinity Saga and like, and things have been mixed up. Things are jumbled a little for the Guardians. So I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for people to see that. Yeah, I think it's gonna be fun. I brought some friends with me from Portugal uh, and I think it, it just makes sense to watch in, in a big screen with big sound and yeah, and to have fun like in person. It's, it's so good to see their passion about Guardians and I, I mean they really put the effort and they really put like so much love into it. It's amazing to, to, to watch. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's kind of feels, I can't believe it's been so many years. They were just talking about how many years have gone by. It feels like I just spoke with James Gunn about playing this character and now we're at the final end of it. It's weird how time works. Yeah, it's been incredible. It's really been, I love Rocket a lot. And uh, it was a real privilege to play him, to be a part of the team that is Rocket, and then to, to, to do the, in this last incarnation of Guardians that they really were able to focus on his story meant a lot to me, to be able to help, help tell that. I think just what, how James is able to create the, the family dynamic again and again in, in new and fresh ways, and you just see how they all 
uh, interact and, and live together and cohabitate in such a way that's unique and funny and dramatic and you know he, I, I, he's just a really wonderful storyteller. I, I don't think I've ever been to a premiere that looks like this. The fans are incredible. It's so beautiful to me. It's, it's totally unique to my experience with Marvel. I've never, I mean the first time I went to Comic-Con, I'd never felt that kind of joy before. And I, I just think it's so powerful and special. And I, yeah, I don't take it for granted. I have just, I mean, this gift of Guardians keeps giving. I mean, first it was Comic-Con and that madness, and then here with this glorious, joyous madness. I don't have words for it. Some of the closest and dearest people in my life are here with me as guests, including my wife, and just seeing them enjoy it adds a lot for me because I don't have the words. So maybe they will have the words, but I'm really loving this experience, yeah. I think whatever audiences loved about the first two, about these characters, their, their eccentricities, their, 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 their proclivities, all that stuff, is that times 10 in this movie. We go deeper. I think watching it the other day, I saw the performances of the rest of the cast and I was like, they've gone to places they haven't yet in the first two. So if you love them, you're going to end up loving them even more. Be ready to laugh and cry. This is an absolute spectacle of the greatest proportions. This is amazing. And I'm living my 10 year old's dream right now. I mean, this, I couldn't have thought of this being the way my life was going to go. So it's amazing. It's amazing. Oh, it's, it's amazing. You know, I'm, uh, I'm from London, so it's my first LA premiere. Um, and it's, it's super cool to see all the fans dressed up. I'm very, very happy to play Teefs. He's a great character and uh, he's very lovable. And everyone in our little scene, I think everyone's gonna really love it. Oh my gosh, it's just so surreal to be on this purple carpet right now. And oh, it's just so thrilling and I'm just so excited to see the movie and I'm beyond grateful to be here. Well, I feel that um, people are going to be crying and laughing a lot. And I feel like at one point it's gonna be like an on and off switch. They're gonna be laughing, crying, laughing, crying. We're here with Guardians of the Galaxy and Marvel, and I couldn't be more excited and happy to share this experience with all of the people from the cast and James Gunn, who is absolutely my, I don't know, role model as a human being. And it's just unbelievable, surreal. I'm beyond happy. It is. It's a lot of fun, and I think that's what Marvel, Disney, Guardians of the Galaxy have managed to do to make you feel like even if you're scared about something, even if you feel like you're insecure in yourself, you feel like you're a misfit, underdog, you have to have a little bit of faith and you'll find your people, your creatures, and things are going to solve it themselves. Um, so it's kind of a magical feeling and it's been incredible, it's been fun, it's been heartfelt, it's been emotional to, to be around them, to work with them, because not only they're great actors and artists, they're also good human beings. And I think that's important. To have a good work, you need good people around. I'm here for the fans, I'm here for my, my friends, and James Gunn, and um, loving it, glad to be a part of it, and it's been, it's been really a lot of fun. Yeah, in fact, I think this one kind of stands out the most uh, with that. This movie, to me, um, is the most emotional and the most spiritual I've, I've seen. Um, and it just really brings together all, all three movies. You know, it wraps it up really nicely with a bow. The theme is really like the love between friends, like your found family, and what you would do when you when you learn who they are and where they come from, that you just love them more. And the idea of a found family is just like the, the through line through it, through it all and, and showing up for them. So I think we all identify with that, you know? And that's why I bawled like a baby and will tonight as well. <laughs> well, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I'm gonna discover everything right along with them because except for the scenes I was in, I have literally not seen any of this movie. Everything to me is going to be surprised. So whatever surprises you, audience, I'm right there with you. I'm going to be right there along with you. Yeah, I just, you know, I was a huge fan of the Guardians franchise even before I joined the third movie. Um, I, I just think James Gunn's writing and his aesthetic is just, you know, just 
no one can compare. Um, he just evokes something in people when they watch these movies. And so just given the opportunity to be a part of the third one, I didn't care if I was going to work craft services. I, when I got the call that I was joining, I was like, just put me in coach, whatever, I will do whatever. Well, I'm excited for them to sort of see the whole story wrap up. You know, like uh, people have seen The Guardians, you know, it's been what 10 years since the first movie came out. So people have really sort of like, there are people who've grown up with these characters and have really fallen in love with them. So um, it's, it's, I think it's really interesting to see the reactions to, you know, the storyline of Rocket and, and, and just how the Guardians family comes together to sort of like save one of their own. To be able to come here and celebrate our time together, not only having made this movie, but all of us together for over 10 years, having made the entire you know, trilogy of films is an amazing experience and I just cannot wait to get in there and watch the movie with everybody. You know, I really love the, the you know, Rocket's backstory and so I'm excited about people being able to see that, to meet these other characters, Floor and Teefs and Lila, you know, so there's just, I'm excited just for people to see the movie and, you know, you know, say goodbye along with us. I mean, I loved the first two Guardians movies, so I was sold anyway. And I love working with James Gunn. He's the best. So, you know, it was a double whammy for me. As a composer, you know, anything to do with something this big, it's in space, it's got all these great characters, it sort of writes itself because you're thinking of, you know, I could have written it five times over. There was so many ideas, like, I want to do that or I want to do that. And, but it was a, you know, it was a beautiful experience. Um, you know, because I'm a fan. I'm a big Marvel fan. I'm a huge fan of the Guardian stuff. So, you know, it's been the best experience for me. Like, the best. I mean, James is probably the most savvy, musically savvy director I've, I've ever worked with. Um, you know, and he's open to anything. It's like whatever crazy idea you've got. It's like, oh, why don't we, you know, this might be bonkers. And he's like, let me hear it, you know. Um, but he comes back with things that I would never have, never have thought of. So more than any other director I've ever worked with, it's, it's a real collaboration. To work with James and to have the opportunity to bring this third story to the public is just amazing, fantastic. It's been a real pleasure. We're excited to bring everyone back, more jokes, more music, huge action, and give all these characters an incredible ending that, like they deserve. Um, I'm excited for everyone to see Rocket's story. I'm excited for everyone to see, you know, to, to remember the, f like, to feel the fun that they felt in Guardians 1 and 2, and, you know, their appearances in Endgame and Infinity War. Um, yeah, and just to get to hang around with these characters again, these characters that we really love. I'm excited for everyone to feel that.